question we will talk about are policies for special situations. There are a variety of special situations that you'll deal with in the classroom, so I, only, I will only cover a few of those. If you have any questions with the special, special situations, please see the handbook handout that I gave you, or speak with one of the interpreters you work with. First off, videos need to be captioned. The deaf student cannot be focusing on the visual aid video as well and get the information out of that as well as looking at the interpreter. So it helps to have the captioning there and it's a priority. Some people wonder what happens if the deaf student falls asleep in class and what the interpreter's role is. This is a back and forth debate. debate. However, <coughs> an interpreter would not wake up a hearing student. Therefore, they shouldn't have the responsibility to wake up a deaf student. And then the interpreter judges if they should interpret, continue interpreting or not. You don't want to overdo interpretation because it could lead to um, repetitive motion syndrome, which we'll cover later in this presentation. What happens if the teacher turns off the light and there's no light on the interpreter? You always need to have an extra light source, and some interpreters have the light source on them. At the beginning of the year, you should solve the lighting situation with the classroom teacher you are working with and making sure that there's not busy uh, backgrounds and things like that <clears throat> because the deaf students will get very distracted. What happens if the deaf student closes their eyes to not pay attention? As a hearing student, you can just block out noise with your ears. So what does a deaf student do? They close their eyes. The interpreters could tap on their desks to get their attention, but <coughs> um, teachers need to be aware of this and that strategy so that way they can get the student's attention themselves. In the book, So You Want to Be an Interpreter, An Introduction to Sign Language Interpreting, the interpreters must remember to not impinge on the teacher's authority, including teaching, student discipline, parent contacts, and referrals. The next section we are going to be looking at are the evaluation procedures. In front of you is an evaluation form for the student as well as the lead interpreter. It is important to be evaluated by the student so the interpreter knows what they need to do to, have to convey the correct message. A professional who knows sign language should also evaluate the interpreter. From the evaluations, the interpreter will know where their skills, what their skills are, what they need to improve, and also what their strengths are. <coughs> 